here with 2013 world champion Mick Fanning. Thanks for the time today, mate. We're in your garage, yeah. and here we are surrounded by the tools of your trade. You seem to have everything really dialed in. Do you reckon that's got uh, something to do with like the consistency of your performance, and in particular, over the 2013 season? Yeah, definitely. It's, um, you know, when, when you're going into an event, you've, you've already got like so many different what-ifs going on. So if you can eliminate what if your boards aren't right, or what if your fins aren't right, Working on your equipment, you know, that's, that's our biggest thing. If, if it's not our body, then it's our equipment. So this is the system that you were, you guys were pretty much trialling this towards the end of 2012. Yeah. So how did it feel? It felt, it felt great, you know. I had the half and half, so I had, you know, the old FCS1 system and then and half of my boards in this new prototype system. And I was lucky enough the boards that I had in this system were actually the good ones. The transition from the old system, new system has been very easy for us and mixed performance on them and not just mix but all the other CT surfers that are surfing them, the proof's in the pudding of um, you know, Mick winning the world title, winning, winning comps and everyone else winning comps on, on the new system. So I think it's definitely proved itself in such a short time. A majority of it is, yeah, it's been work over time and um, you know, you also do throw in fun boards and, you know, different things, try new things, but for your core, you know, contest equipment, everything is really consistent across the board. Um, they're all 26.26 um, and they're all 5.11, 18 and three quarters, two and a quarter. And all I do is change the tail a little bit, move the fins up and down sometimes, but very slightly. Lately we've been thinning the nose out so it's a little bit more whippier and, and he can get that nose in. When you eat, someone gives you something new and you, you know that the old system worked perfectly and you're like, oh well, why are we changing? It's, it's already so good and then um, from the very first surf I rode this fin in that system, I was, I was hooked. I was like, can I have a thousand of them? With the plugs actually sunken into the foam and under the glass, and they're all connected too, so it just, it just, yeah, the, the whole back end of your board is so much more solid. As I, as I said, like everything, everything just worked really well going into the, the back end of the year. Um, you know, this, this setup is something that I've, I'm so used to. Uh, going in Hawaii, had the, the tri-quad set up in the FCS2 system. Being able to just chop and change on what I was feeling, or body was feeling at the time, was just so easy. This is the board that I rode on the first day um, and that's the setup that I rode. If you, if you started drifting a little bit on the foam ball, for some reason the quads just seem to just lock in and just accelerate off the foam ball. I was using this from trestles all the way till at the end of the year, you know, through France, Portugal, Hawaii on the smaller days and then um, I was using this fin too in, in quad setups and also in bigger boards. With these two fins, I know I can just grab them anywhere and just go and I know they're gonna work. 